Hi, welcome to another Dymo XTL tutorial. Today we're going to look at patch panel labels. Now, the patch panel labels are absolutely fantastic and we've had reports that Dymo were at a data comms expo and absolutely blew them away with this. Uh, so let's go in and I'll show you why. So we choose patch panel from the home screen. Now, this is where it gets really interesting. It's so easy to set up these label templates. So, we can choose the number of ports. We will say, let's say 12. Uh, we can choose the groups. So, we can say there we go, groups of four. Uh, again, with it's really nice and graphic, it shows you exactly what you're gonna be getting there. Uh, you can do one label per group, which is nice and tidy, easier to apply. We can do one label for the entire section. If you're doing it this way, it will last the gap between them. So we'll go ahead and uh, do that. And it says measure the distance from center to center. So say for example, if for our patch panels, we measure the center one port to the center of the neighboring port and it's 20 mil. It's quite big, but this is just an example, so 20 mil. As you can see, it's automatically adjusted everything there. And as we're doing it in one big label, this is gonna far exceed a 19 inch rack that you'd normally have. Uh, we can say 10 mil, 10 mil gap between each one. And there we go. We can just press done and start entering the data. Or we have apply template up here, it's kind of a hidden button. I've only been made aware of this button this morning. It's absolutely fantastic. If we press this, it loads up a load of templates that are well-known patch panels on the market. Absolutely loads of them. And you can download more. So if you get to the bottom of this, this says about uh, add more templates using the file transfer. For this example, let's go ahead and choose we will choose this one here. A bit big, again, we've still got the 54 mil tape in there. So here, again, it's really nice and graphic. We can see all the ports beneath it and it shows exactly what it's gonna be like. So let's input here, we'll just say zero, one. Let's go serialize. Go. So we've selected the numbers. Let's go OK. Yep, that's all good to me. Done. And there we go. We've just labelled 1 to 24 on Patch Panel. Then we can press Print and that will come out as individual labels uh, for each section of a Patch Panel. So if you were to print that, that would come out. And then if you do the wire wraps, which we'll get onto another time. It'll ask if you want to recall the data, and you can say yes, press print, and it will print off the exact same serialization you've just done for your patch panels, so you can mark up all the cables behind the patch panel. So, that's the patch panels. I hope that's impressed you as much as it's impressed me and many other people. And don't forget to subscribe or follow us on Twitter. Loads more tutorials to come. Thank you very much for watching.